What's good, y'all? It's your boy. It's Times World TV. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a good one. All right. So check it, y'all. We got to talk about this. Uh, we got that Godzilla and Kong, the new empire, uh, non-spoiler review. We're going to do a full spoiler review. Um, we got some technical issues right now. Um, so I'm trying to fix that so we can do the, the, the non-spoiler when I do it with my partner, Buggy. So uh, we'll have that for you soon, okay? So don't worry about it. But uh, let's let's get to this, man, because I saw this last weekend. I saw it came out. If y'all saw the out of the theater review, um, I love this movie. This 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 movie to me was the best out of the uh, the monster franchise that we've been getting since 2014, Godzilla. And the movie's basically about uh the two titans, the two classic titans, Godzilla and Kong. They come back for another round, uh, and they clash over uh you know doing their usual. Hey, you in my territory? What you doing here? And vice versa. However, we get deeper into Kong's or Skull Island's. Uh, origins and mostly Kong and Godzilla's origin. We get like more of a deeper like explanation for their species, right? And uh, we see things that are pretty dope. And I don't want to give it away because it's a it's a non spoiler review. But you know, but that was one of the things I really liked about this movie was they this was stronger story wise for me. Now, yeah, there were some little things here and there, uh, 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 story wise that I that was like what, well, and I'm gonna talk about that later. But overall, I felt like this was the strongest story, story wise for this movie. Like everything flowed from the 2014 Godzilla to here, and they've continued that throughout the years. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, this was like the Justice League of the MonsterVerse. You know, everything that we've got so far collided here. You know what I'm saying? Um, and for this review, I'm going to talk about the good, the bad, and then we give you a score. Um, so let me say what I liked. You know what? Let me go to the negative because I have a lot of good um, real quick. So one of my negatives is uh, the I forgot the, the lady's name, but the, the main person that you see, um, she was saying that you know, Godzilla is good for mankind. However, homie is out here just destroying cities and killing people. <laughs> like he's murking people. Like, like you, you clearly see, like he's making destruction when he's fighting these heights, these all these kaiju's. Like he don't try to get, you know, make the make the uh the monsters go away to a safe place like superman would he's like nah i i you we, you gonna you gonna get these hands bro and it's more like a territorial thing like hey you're in my territory so you gotta get these hands bro you know so i mean other than that that was like my one negative honestly um i have to see the movie again to see if i have any more negatives but yeah let's get to the good straight off the bat um I love the fact that uh, Kong got so much screen time this time. He really was like the main character. It's crazy. Um, and I and I really liked this old Kong. Like he was more, he was more chill. Sorry guys, more chill, more like he was smarter too. Like. There's a part of it, like, especially like the first five minutes of the movie, you start with him and you see him like build traps and stuff like that. Like, but you'll, you, like I said, I ain't gonna say specifically what you'll see when I talk about in the movie. Um, and you see that Skull Island is his domain, like the subterranean, I mean, the, the, you know, the, the inverse earth, like that's his domain. That's his, he is the king of that domain. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, like I said, compared to the last movie, he got more screen time. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the plot in this movie, especially the main villain, has to deal with him. 
and it's crazy like the main villain that you see in the trailers the red you know the red monkey uh his name is the scar king if i'm not mistaken and uh yeah he 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 was a boss i, I really liked him as a main villain oh, like he he was dope like oh and that's the thing that i really liked about this movie too they did it they did like the body language and i think i said this in the uh out of the theater they did the body language in a way where you know what they're saying but they're not talking english you know what i'm saying like you can convey what they're saying without them having to know what they're exactly saying like it, it like i love that they did it that way and i don't know if they did that in every movie i don't think they did but here it was like their body language was to convey what they were saying um especially with the red king oh my gosh you know the pacing was really good in this movie like this movie clocks in at almost two hours but you don't really feel it like the pace it, it just goes from here to here to here to here it's going in, it's going at such a great pace such a fast pace like and i think that's because we got more screen time with the monsters i feel like that was a big plus with this movie because that been my complaint and others complain for years is that like when you get movies like transformers and you know uh, monster movies you don't they like it's always the humans that get more screen time than the actual monster themselves usually that's because of budget reasons but i think they had them they had a lot more budget this time because we saw a lot more monsters we saw more monster fights than i think i've ever seen in the monsterverse period like it's crazy like you start off with a monster fight with godzilla and kong you know separately you know um and then when they get at it bro oh my god son <laughs> And Kong goes to Godzilla for help. That's the thing. Like, when you see the pyramid scene, when you see them, like, get at it with each other, he's trying to ask Godzilla for help. But Godzilla's like, nah, bro, you in my domain, bro. I told you. When I see you next time, I'm giving you these lizard hands, bro. Go play with it, bro. But I always love, I always love, I always love that, uh, that, that, you know, that, that, that thing between them two, you know. But yeah, I gotta say, like, this was like the my favorite one for me, honestly. I I really liked it a lot. And I want to talk about the director real quick. Adam Wingard should be the go-to guy now for the kaiju movies because he's gotten better at directing the the monster franchise from 2014. Did he play 2014? I think he did. From 2014 to up. And you can see he's done a great job. Great, 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 great job. And he's gotten better as he got along. Like, this was it for me. This this was like, yes. Keep it like this. If y'all gonna do more monster movies, keep it like this. Also, uh, in the movie, they also make Godzilla... He's not a bad guy, but he's not a great guy. He's like a bully, I guess. <laughs> That's how they made him in this movie. Um, Because you just see him going around just like... Just going around other 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 territories, just just whooping monsters' butts. Like, also, I also love the way that they uh, had like the reason why Godzilla is pink. You know, when you see that that pink energy, I I like the way they did it. Um, I'm not gonna say it because of non spoiler, but still, it was cool the way they did it. Also, the human characters were actually pretty good. I liked them from the last movie, and I liked them in this movie, too. Uh, Brian Tyree Henry was in the last one, so he stayed. Uh, Millie Bobby Brown was not in this one, but you had uh, uh, you had Dan Stevens, and you had the young lady. I forgot her name. I have to get it. But you had that young lady, too. They were the main human element, and that was dope. Like, Dan Stevens and Brian Tyree Henry had a great chemistry. Like, that was dope. And um, the little girl that you saw that was hanging out with Kong, um, she actually has a bigger role in this movie. And I think it was related to uh, the people uh, that were like in the old kaiju movies, the old Godzilla movies, um, when they were praising Mothra. I think, you know, I, I think those are the same people. They're referenced here, too. Um, 
So that was dope too. Also, um, we also got another monster in here, a new monster aside from the Red King. And um, that monster has ties to the Red King and also other monsters that I don't want to give away, but I like the way they did it. Like, it was actually like, oh, okay. And I don't know what they're going to do with this from now on. Like, it's that big of a deal. Like, you'll see it when you see it. But yeah, like, what are they going to do with this? Like, what does this mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. But um, I love to see where that would go because it's that important. That's the thing. Um, oh, yeah. And Little Kong, the, 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 little, the little monkey one you see in the trailers, he's not Kong's son. But he acts like it. Like you, you'll see what I'm saying. And I love their chemistry. I, I love that the, the scenes with with him and, and Kong, bro. Oh my gosh. And um, also, like I said, with Kong, he has like when you see in the trailer, you see those other Kongs and stuff. That is officially that is his line. So like there are more people like him out there, and um, you'll see. When you see you see how that ends the way it ends you'll you'll see okay i did want to talk about this too the body count is insane the body count seems to have tripled from the last couple of movies put together like you there's this one scene where all where the monsters end up in a city it's like four or five of them and they all just start fighting and i'm just like bro how many how many people got deleted bro <laughs> the, the, the the deletion toll is insane, bro. That was crazy. But I got to say, the fight scenes were insane this time around. I, oh, my gosh. There is a part where some of the monsters are fighting with gravity. You know what I'm talking about when you see it. That, that, was, that was just such a crazy part. I never in my wildest dreams would have saw kaijus playing with, with, with gravity, fighting each other. Like, I, I, that was... The little kid in me was like, Shh. you know what I'm saying? It was it was so crazy. All right, y'all. So uh, I'm going to get to the score real quick. Um, This, honestly, 9 out of 5. This was a 9 out of 5 for me. Okay. um, This was super dope. I loved it. Yo, this was like my favorite in the MonsterVerse. I'm really about to go watch all the MonsterVerse movies again. And like give you guys a review. Like I'm about to do a reaction and give you guys a review. I think I might do that. Um, hopefully YouTube don't, you know, give me any static with it, but we'll see. But what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you see it already? If you didn't see it already, are you going to see it? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, guys, we're gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Deuces, be safe, have a good one, and look out for the non-spoiler review coming up soon. Let it all.